One doctor has looked inside the female mind, literally, and said it's more powerful than any man's. Today, he'll reveal his findings from the largest gender brain study ever. Meet psychiatrist Daniel Amen, who says women's brains are superior because of five unique strengths. He's a pioneer in the field of psychiatry, who uses brain scans to study the human brain. She'll be in the camera about 15 minutes. And now, Dr. Daniel Amen says his research is unlocking the secrets of the female mind. The first study we did on 46,000 scans was look at the differences between male and female brains. Her brain is dramatically more active in about 85% of the brain. Dr. Amen uses an imaging technology called SPECT to see inside the brain. SPECT uses gamma rays to create 3D images like this. It tells us areas of the brain that are low in activity and areas of the brain that are high in activity so that you can more appropriately target treatment to that individual. Dr. Amen believes his scans have led to fundamentally new insights on how the male and female brain work very differently. Here's an example of a male brain. Lots of activity here in the back, and then it's relatively quiet. So when men get under stress, we make more risky decisions. Here's an example of a female brain. Still lots of activity in the back, but much more activity in the front part of the brain called the prefrontal cortex and in the emotional brain called the limbic brain, which is why women make great leaders, because they have more frontal lobe function, more impulse control, planning, forethought, judgment. Dr. Amen has published his findings in a new book, which he promises will change everything you think you know about the female brain. I think I have the secret to unleash the power of the female brain. Dr. Daniel Amen is here. Now, you compared over 46,000 of these brain scans, men and women. It's the largest project of its kind in the world. I mean, why did you even start? Well, I have five sisters, three daughters, two granddaughters, and 14 nieces. I just had to know what the difference was. Yes. What is going on over there on their team? So what were the differences you noticed that were the most provocative? Well, it was, it was striking. And the thing that surprised me is that size really doesn't matter, that male brains are 8 to 10% bigger. But the female brain in 85% of the brain is more active. And that increased activity helped explain so much of my life and of some of these scans. So I'm gonna put a male brain up there and a female brain up there. I would love you to walk us through this, but if you notice from these two images, folks, that the female brain's got a lot more activity in a lot more places. So blue equals average activity, red is the top 15%. And what we found, the back parts, so it's at the bottom, are really active, that's normal. But the female brain, especially in the front part of the brain, mm -hmm. is dramatically more active. You can see a lot more red on the female brain. Red's, red's good. Red means there's blood going there and there's some activity there. And with the brain, what's going on with the male brain over here? It's, you know, <laughs> there's not much happening. It's a little sleepier. Yes. But in our study, so with 46,000 scans comparing males and females, is females were just radically more active in many very important parts of the brain. Now, what's the most remarkable thing you've noticed doing these scans in all these women? Well, what really excites me, having five sisters and three daughters, is how powerful their brain really is. That the activity that is better in females than in males as, as a whole really makes them great leaders. And I think as a society, we don't know that. You and I did the Daniel Plan together. And who signed up for it? Women. And when women got the message of health, they changed not only themselves, they changed their families. So women are leaders, and they're wired to be leaders. So now be honest, you take forever to pack. You always cry during a sappy movie. Well, the men in your life may see that as weak, but Dr. Daniel Amen says those are traits that are among your greatest strengths. So you identified five unique strengths that women have that men don't do as well at. What are they? Well, based on the imaging work that we did, we find that they have more empathy, appropriate worry, which people often don't think of as strength, but it totally is, intuition, self-control, and collaboration. 
All right, so we're going to walk people through all five of these. We're going to start with the first strength of empathy. Why is it such an important strength for women? Well, it's such an important human skill because when you can empathize with another person, mm -hmm. uh, you understand them. It's also why women are primary caretakers for children. Mm -hmm. So getting outside of your head and into the uh, heads of other people is absolutely critical. And it's a function of your prefrontal cortex, which is the most human, thoughtful part of the brain largest in humans and in any other animal by far and much more active significantly more active in females than males in, in general yeah, it's the main reason our brains grew was to get that part of the brain large so the next is appropriate worry you mentioned that word appropriate a couple times why well you know i'm a psychiatrist so i, I used to think that my job would be to calm down people's worries mm -hmm. well not really because the don't worry be happy people die the earliest from accidents or preventable illnesses. Yes. Stop and enjoying so, yourselves, guys. <laughs> Party's over today. So be concerned, live longer, be happier, rather than don't worry, be happy. Intuition. A lot of folks argue that it doesn't exist. You say it is very real and is a very important strength. Well, there's actually an area deep in the brain that's responsible for gut feelings, more active in women. Plus, intuition, women have more connections in their brain, they actually have more white matter in the areas that make them smart. What that means, so those are like the highways, the bridges in the brain, is when they're going to make a decision, they don't rely on just one piece of information. They have a lot more information available to them. And so they get an idea something's not right. They might not be able to say why, but it's often correct. And it's very important to know that certain things can disrupt their intuition time of their cycle not eating having a low blood sugar or not getting enough sleep so taking care of your brain can dramatically enhance that skill you see those changes on these brain scans if a woman is you know that time of month or not having the right diet well no question I have to publish studies on you know it's the first time I believed in multiple personality disorder scan them at the be you know the middle of their cycle at the good time and then toward the end <laughs> it's like very different i could have told you that <laughs> come on all right self-control this is actually you know surprising and why are women better at self-control than men well self-control is that critical thing that keeps you alive for a long time i mean it's really your ability to control your impulses you know i often say stapling your stomach's working on the wrong organ it's your brain that pushes you away from the table right. um and so given that the <laughs> prefrontal cortex is the most active in women do you know they go to jail 14 times less than males why because they make better decisions it's also one of the main reasons why they live seven years longer on average than men yeah, it's fascinating how the female mind is, is registered for that. You mentioned collaboration. That's actually the last strength that you were going to outline for us. Collaboration is yeah. so important. And so the limbic brain, deep in the brain, larger in women, and it's involved in bonding and connectedness. And it's why when you take these strengths and start putting them together, self-control, collaboration, intuition, appropriate worry, what you see are traits of great leaders. And now in Congress, we have more women than ever before in history. But it needs to get to be 50% or more. Otherwise, we're leaving these great leadership brains. Um, we're not taking as much advantage as we could. So collaboration, women will win that battle. Women will always win that battle. Another reason why they live longer, because if they have their posse, if they have their group, um, they live longer. Did you know the health of the people you spend time with determines your longevity? It makes perfect.